First Lady Intasara Sisi paid farewell to the U.S. counterpart Jill Biden, who wrapped up a two-day visit to Egypt. The American First Lady's visit aimed at promoting empowerment for women, as well as focusing on the U.S. investments that support the educational programs. On her Facebook page, Intasara Sisi wrote that she was happy to have met the U.S. First Lady during the visit to Egypt. Defense Minister Lieutenant General Mohammed Zaki held a phone call with the Israeli counterpart Yuav Gallant to discuss the circumstances of the border shooting incident. Spokesman of the armed forces said that during the call, Minister Zaki offered the condolences over the victims of the two sides. The minister is also discussed taking the necessary measures to prevent the recurrence of the border shooting incidents. Earlier in the day, the armed forces spokesman said an Egyptian security personnel assigned with securing the international borders carried out the manhunt of drug smugglers on Saturday. He added that during the manhunt, the security personnel crossed a security barricade, which led to an exchange of fire causing the death of three Israeli security troops and the injury of two others, in addition to the death of the Egyptian security soldier. The Army spokesperson pointed out that an investigation and securing procedures are underway in the area. He offered condolences to the families of the dead and the speedy recovery for the injured troops. Prime Minister Mustafa Madbouli said that the Integrated Strategy Project for the Management of Rains in Alexandria comes within the framework of President Abdel Fattah Hassis's directives to set comprehensive solutions for the impact of the increasing amounts of rain falling on the Mediterranean governorates during the last years. Prime Minister Dr. Mustafa Medbouli made an inspection tour on Saturday of some projects in Alexandria. Medbouli started his visit with inspecting the integrated strategic project for managing rainfall water in the Mediterranean governorate. During his visit, Madwuli stressed his keenness on periodically following up on the progress uh, realized in projects serving people in various provinces. For his part, Alexander and Governor said the project falls within the framework of the President's directives aiming at finding solutions to curb the negative impact of the large amounts of rainfall in the governorate over the past years as a result of climate change repercussions. The Prime Minister tour also included a visit to the Greco-Roman Museum and its uh, environs in preparations for its inauguration. Prime Minister Madbouli also inspected the dry bulk terminal in Dekhila port in Alexandria. The Premier tour also included a visit to the Greco-Roman Museum. As uh, the uh, Prime Minister said, the cultural uh, edifice reflects the richness and diversity of the Egyptian civilization. The Premier stressed the state's interest in developing the museum as part of integrated plan for uh, upgrading tourist and archaeological sites. Medbouli also inspected the museum's surroundings area and stood on detailed explanation of its development plan. He also directed to paint the museum's surrounding buildings and install lights similar to that of the Egyptian Museum of Cairo's Tahrir Square. Upon uh, presidential directives, Foreign Minister Samah Shukri headed to Turkish capital Ankara to attend the swearing-in ceremony of uh, Turkish President Recep Tayyip Erdogan. Foreign Ministry spokesperson Ahmed Abu Zaid said that the participation of uh, Shukri comes in the framework of the development witnessed recently by the Egyptian-Turkish relations and the keenness of the two countries to restore normal ties to achieve the ambitions of the two peoples. In a foreign ministry statement, Egypt expressed its sincere condolences to India over the victims of a collision accident of a number of trains in eastern India, which caused hundreds of deaths and injuries. Egypt asserted as government and people its solidarity with the Indian government and people in this tragic incident. Egypt also offered condolences to the families of the victims, expressing its wishes of a speedy recovery for the injured.